Hello team, welcome to API automation training and in past two lectures we have seen some POJO examples. We have seen the simple POJO example and we have seen the example of POJO class where we have the JSON array. But today we will see another example on POJO and here we will create the POJO class if we have the nested JSON payload. It means the JSON payload which is the combination of simple JSON, JSON array and nested JSON. So first let's go through the sample JSON and then we will create the POJO class for that JSON. So you can see here is a JSON payload I have created. The JSON is starting from here. Then we have some key value pairs like this. After this we have the array which is supported salary bank and here you can see we don't have the keys right. We just have the values. In the similar way we have the another array and here we only have the values. Then here we have the another JSON element called employee. This is in JSON array, right? See, which have the three JSON element. Then we have the another element like contractors, which is again in JSON array, which have the three, which have the two JSON element. And then we have the another JSON component company PF details, which have the key value pair, which is another nested JSON. So this is the sample JSON payload, which we are going to create in a POJO class. So I will copy this, go to the JSON online editor and paste it here. I will click on the tree form. So this is the complete structure. We have the company name, company head office city, company CEO. Then here we have the supported bank salary 0, 1, 2. This is in JSON array which have the 0th index HDFC, ICICI indexes. Again we have the JSON array which again have the 0th index which is which contains the value only. No keys over here. Then we have the employee which have the three JSON. First is this. This is second. This is third. And again we have the contractor which is again JSON array which have the and which have these two JSON again. After this this is the nested JSON which have this particular value PF name, PF city, PF year and number of employees. So this is the JSON which we are going to convert into the POJO object. So here we will divide this particular JSON in multiple parts and we will work on these parts right. So first let's create a class in Eclipse and call it company details. Here first we will start with this company details, company name, company HOCT and company CEO. So I will define the private string against these fields. Right, so we have defined the private string company name, company HOCT and company CEO. Now the next field is supported salary banks and pin code of city offices. You can see this is an array which have the three string values and this is also an array which have the three integer values C. So it means this is an array of a string and this is an array of integer. We will define the same thing. So we will copy this and define like private list and this is a string kind of list and what is the field value? Field value is this. We need to import the list from the Java utils. Similarly we will copy this paste it here and this time it's an integer kind of list. And what is the field name? Field name is pin code of city offices. So we have defined these five fields. Now let's go to the next field. So we have covered up to this point, right? Now we have the employees array, right? You can see this is an JSON array, which have the fields first name, last name, gender, age, salary, and married, right? All three elements of this array have the same fields. If you remember, and we will go to the eclipse. Then in the last class where we have created the JSON array for POZO. So these are the same six fields. So we can use that class instead of creating these variables again and again. Similarly, if we will go to the next, then here we have the contractors and contractors is again in JSON array, which have the four fields, first name, last name, contract from and contract to. So we need to create a separate class for this. So I will create one more class over here and call it contractor. We will define the private string for all the variables like private string first name, last name, contract from and contract to. Right. So these are the only four fields. Now we will again right click over here, go to the source and generate the getter and setter. Generate for all, click on generate. Getter setter are basically generated for contractors. So what we have done, we have defined the company details over here. Then we have the two class for the rest of the 
JSON, one is the generate, one is the JSON array POJO and another is the contractor. So we have generated up to this point of JSON. I mean to say up to this point of JSON. Now we have the company PF details which again have the four fields. So we need to generate another class for the company PF details. So we will declare one more class over here and call it company PF details. And in this class again, we will generate the private string for these four fields pf name pf city pf year and number of employees so we will define the private string pf name and rest define other three fields as well once all the field defined we need to generate the getter and setter go to the source generate getter and setter select all click on generate so we have defined the pojo class for all fields right we have the company pf detail we have the contractors and for the employees we have the json array pojo but this company detail is still pending because here we just defined the first five fields but rest of the fields we have defined the separate classes now the question is how we can combine these classes the separate classes which we have defined for the contractors pf details and json array pozo in this particular company details pozo class because this is going to be the combined payload class for this you can see this is a json array which have the first name, last name, gender, age, merit. Which class is representing this particular detail? JSON array POSO class is basically representing these details. So I will define list JSON array POSO. Right? And define the JSON array POSO class over here. And define the variable name. What is the variable name? Variable name is employee. Like this. After the employee, we have the Contractors and contractors is again in JSON array. So we'll define list Right and define the class which is the contractors and Define the variable name. What is the variable name? Variable name is contractors like this After this, what is the next class? Next class is the company PF details, but this is not an array. This is a Sample JSON, right? So we will define the company PF details as it is over here define this variable over here like this so team where we have the one-to-one -one mapping in the json we can define like this where we have the list of the element we can define like this and where we need a child json we can define like this and where we need a child json array we can define like this now this is basically representing the complete class we need to define the getter and setter here as well the approach will be same. We will right click this class, go to the source, go to the getter and setter. Right, you can see over here we are getting all the fields. Select all and click on generate. It will automatically generate all the getter and setter function for you. See, for get company, set company, get HOCT, set HOCT, get CEO, set CEO. Then next element is the list type, which is a list of a string. So it is generating the list type, get supported salary. See, right. Again, it is setting the supported salary bank and returning the list type of argument. Right? Same for the list integer. Then next is the JSON array POJO, which is a list type object. See, it is generating in the same way. For the contractors, same way. For a company details, it is returning the company PF detail class type over here. And in the set company PF details again, it is returning the, it is accepting the company PF detail object type as an argument. Right, so this is the way how we can define the getter and setter. So we have defined the sample POJO class, but if we want to feed the data in this particular POJO class, how we can do that? So I will generate one more class over here, new Java class, and I will name it create nested JSON from POJO. Click on finish. So over here in the create nested JSON from POJO, first I will define a method like public void generate POJO data right and i will define at the rate test annotation over here now what we will do this is my main class company details so i will so i need to create the object of this particular class so i will create the object of this class over here i will call it nested pojo equals to new now we need to assign the data so we will define nested pojo dot set company name and what is the company name level of 360 copy this two more times to define other two fields and what are the two other fields the company hoct and company ceo company hoct define bangalore 
set company CEO define engine so till here we have defined these three fields now the fourth field is a list type right this is a list so we need to define the array list object over here so I will define list string let's copy this like this equals to new array list once you define the object what is the data the data of this particular array right this is the array we have the banks this is zero first and third index so we will add that data simply like this supported salary banks dot add supported salary bank dot add supported salary bank dot add once you will add the data what we need to do we need to add that particular object into this particular nested pojo so i will call nested pojo dot set support salary banks right and over here i will pass this object simple after this we have the another list type which is integer so i will copy this paste it here equals to new and define the array list for the same like this and after this what we need to do we need to add the pin codes of city office so i will define pin codes of city office dot add and add the value so we will add the all pin codes and after this again we will add that object in the nested pojo so set pin code of city and i will pass this object as a set function we have defined the fields up to this particular point of time now we have the employee which is a list and this is a separate class so what we need to do the thing we have done before we need to create the three object of json array pojo class and we need to define the data which we have in a json payload so we have already done that particular thing in the previous class so i will copy the things from there and i think the class is this right hey, over here we have defined this particular object right so i will copy all these three object paste it over here so we are defining the json array pojo anshul for the mark and for the kitty now we need to assign these object into the nested pojo right which is the object of my company details so how we can assign that for this we will go to this particular thing and i will copy this paste it here and create the object of a array list like this then we need to define employee dot add and we need to define the object one by one first is the anshul copy this copy this second is the mark which is this and third is the kitty which is this why we are doing like this because this list is in class type and these are the class object so we can do that stuff once you done this we again need to call nested pojo dot set employee right and we need to pass this object like this now what is next next is the contractors and we have the two elements of this json array so similarly we have created the object of the json array pojo we need to create the object of the contractor so i will create contractor so we have defined the object of the contractor for sima and for peter similarly we have defined like list json array employee we need to define the list for contractor like like list contractor contractors equals to new array list and we need to call contractors dot add add sima and after sima add peter call the nested pojo object set contractor function right and pass the contractor object so we have defined up to the contractors now the last is company pf details so we will simply copy this and create the object of this class company pf details and as per my data i need to define the setter function for pf name pf city pf year and number of employees so i will call company pf details dot set pf copy this two more times which is 2015 pf city and number of employees i will declare all these right so we have defined all four parameters then again define the nested pojo object company pf details right and pass this object which is company pf details so over here at this particular point of time we have generated the complete data right we have generated the sample we have generated the string array integer array we have generated the data for json array right 
then we again generated the data for the json array right we have assigned the json array to the main object assign the json array data to the main object and define the nested json and assign that nested json to the main object after this again we need to create the object of the object mapper class import it from the data bind right define a string nested payload equals to object mapper write with default pretty printer write values as a string and pass the object what is the object object is the nested pojo like this add that throws declaration the error is gone after this you can put this out use this nested payload right click your class run as a test ng test so we have to wait until the test will execute the test executed successfully let me maximize this if we will go to the console see there is a one test test pass and here it is printing the complete json array see right this is an array all three values array of the integer all three values employ all three elements contractors all two json arrays and the json and the sub json right so this is the way how we can deal with the complex json payload so team i believe i so team i believe we have seen all kind of pojo class creation right this could be the possible combination in the json payload which we have seen simple complex and the nested if still you have any doubt any question you can ask me thank you team see you in the coming lecture